If you've ever been exposed to the Five Nights at Freddy's horror video games, then it's hard not to notice the Christian messages hidden in the series. But just in case you haven't, I'm going to run through them today. These are the Christian themes of Five Nights at Freddy's. The creator of the series, Scoff Coffin, actually used to make Christian games and movies before he got his big break with FNAF. Now interestingly, in an interview about the game, he was asked whether he included any Christian messages at all, and his answer was no. But I don't care, because this is my channel, and I can say and do whatever I want, and it's always true. Now let's begin by talking about the main villain of the series. That's right, William Afton, the purple guy. The guy who's responsible for all those murders in the pizzerias. Now he's actually the Antichrist, or in a way, the non-believers. I'll get to what I mean by that with relevant examples, but first, I just want to note that a well-established fact in the series canon is that he is also British. Now the next character I want to talk about is Henry Emily. He's the co-founder of Fazbear Entertainment with William, but he's the one who's actually responsible for creating the original animatronics, and in a way, he represents God the Father, because he created pretty much the entirety of Freddy's, just like God created the world. Uh, now, he also has a daughter called Charlotte Emily, and she represents Jesus, both as the offspring of God, uh, but also as the sacrifice for the saving of the souls, for eternal life. So, essentially what happens in the series is that uh, William shows up and murders Charlotte in the middle of the night in a drunken rage, and Charlotte then goes on to possess this puppet animatronic and comes back to life and then begins giving eternal life to the dead souls of the children that William is responsible for killing, and what happens is that she's able to save them in a minigame called Save Them and give them back their lives, in a way, at least stuffed into animatronic suits. So in this way, the puppet, who is explicitly referred to as Henry's daughter, represents Jesus Christ, both as the offspring of God and also as the savior of humanity. It's also important to note that in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator, a critically acclaimed game where you get to simulate a pizzeria, Henry actually burns the entirety of the animatronic cast at the end of the game, and even makes direct references to sending William to hell, to eternal damnation. So in a way, he's showcasing the power of God and the final decision, the final judgment that God enacts on people, especially on the Antichrist. And this brings me back to William Afton, because he also represents the Antichrist by emulating Henry. He also builds animatronics. He also comes back to life like Christ, but of course he's not the real Christ, he's the false God. He is the false messiah. He is actually the beast who is being slain but still lives. And he also represents the non-believers because he's the one responsible for murdering Christ, who is Henry's daughter, at least in this representation, in the form of Charlotte, in a rage. And finally, this brings me perfectly to the animatronics in the series, and I believe they represent the different sinners of the world. So, in a game like Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, we can see this as an actual element of the writing in the game. It's like a canon part of it, that the different animatronics represent different deadly sins. So, Chica the Chicken represents gluttony because she eats so much despite being a robot. Uh, Roxanne Wolf represents vanity and self-centeredness and bullying and stuff like that. Uh, and Montgomery Gator represents wrath and, and anger. So these characters actually represent the, flaw, they represent the flaws of humanity. Uh, and in a way, when Charlotte saves them in the Save Them minigame, she might actually be saving their souls from these sins. And we could even say that the reason these animatronics are trying to chase us and kill us is because of the influence of the Antichrist or the devil or, or William Afton. So all of these things are, are connected. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Christian themes of Five Nights at Freddy's. If you have any more interesting ideas or theories, please comment them in the description below. Um, and always remember to stay away from uh, dangerous British animatronics engineers. Goodbye.